Good morning, folks. Milk Money back with you again today. Uh, everybody's asking questions. They, they don't know how to use these incubators. They're worried, first-timers and all this and all that. Uh, I've done this a long time ago. Like I said, in other videos, I told you I just have started back uh, recently with the birds and all this. We started incubating, but I should remember most of everything from a long time ago. So I'm going to show you how these work. Again, this is the Manicoop. I'm sorry, Maticoop X 30 egg incubator. I'm going to show you how it works. I do apologize about my, my voice. I still have a little bit of a cold going on. But anyway, we are on uh, three days left. The final three is called the lockdown. So what we're going to do is just show you real fast, very simple, what to do. I mean, that way, if you're doing this at home, you don't worry about it. Just do it. Let nature take care of the rest. So what we're going to do is just remove the top. Set it off to the side for a moment. Take all of your, <coughs> excuse me, egg turners out. Set them out to the side. These are extras. Let me set these over here out of the way. Real quick. Hang on a second. All right. Now I'm going to take the other eggs out and lay them to the side just for a minute. Be careful with those. You have got live babies inside. So... These are made with a little bottom that will set up on their own. It won't tip over unless you just make it. So that way, be careful, but you don't have to worry about them rolling. All right. This inside right here is going to be your, your other shoot. Do not take this out. I'm just showing you for a moment. We've got to hurry up get these eggs back in here. You have two water deals this is number one i showed you in other videos this is on your thing over here on the side you'll see it has number one this is the one you'll keep full the whole time now what we're going to do is as we get done with this other one we're going to fill up chamber number two which is right beside it. it'll have a little plug on it tell you which one's which that's all this other everything in here so what we're going to do is fill that up you can fill it up from the outside but i'm going to go ahead and do it from the inside real quick just to show you so we're going to fill this one all the way, and you'll fill both of these up. Uh, you're going to increase your humidity. By doing this, you're going to increase your humidity. You want to bring it up to around 70%. Like I said, do this from the outside. I'm just showing you right now from the inside, your little ports. Once you get this done, this right here is going to be your little turner deal. This is what actually makes your eggs turn. It's on a little rack. They say leave this in here because this little groove right here, you'll get dirt in here and it'll actually stop your motor from working later. So leave this in here. It will not harm the babies at all. It may still move a little bit, but the chicks will be just fine. And what you're going to do is take all of your eggs back out of your baskets. Uh oh, be careful. And we're going to lay these down flat in here. That's all you've got to do. I'm kind of separating these out just a little bit uh, because I've actually got certain breeds. I just want to see which ones start hatching where. So there's no rhyme or reason to this. Uh, let me go ahead and get all the big eggs put in here. These again are the neighbors. Uh, uh oh again I apologize about my breathing I'm sick but you'll lay everything down its side just kind of scatter them out a little bit that one is okay I didn't mark that one but these are the little BB reds over here let's see that's another BB red spangled spangled and another spangled okay 
So once you have them all laid in here, what you're going to do is you've already filled up the bottom. You're going to just simply replace the top. And you're going to open this vent all the way up. Just turn it wide open. You actually have another hole in the back right here. I don't know if you can see my finger or not. You have a little hole right here that helps circulate. This up here is your main vent. It controls how much humidity is what. So you open it all the way up. Uh, do not mess with this again until they hatch. And even when you see them hatching, leave them and let them dry real good. So about a 24 hour period. They have an egg sac, egg, egg yolk out of their shell that'll feed them for a good 24 hours. They don't have to have food or water or anything of that nature for at least 24 hours. So let nature do its part. Don't worry, just let them hatch. And I'm gonna show you real quick on the other one. Since we're here, let me get around the other side of the counter. I may just move the camera over for a second. So let's see, this one right here is the nurture right i kept saying it wrong the other day because my sinuses again but this one right here is basically the same way you've got your ports well your ports in the front number one number two what you'll do is take your little plug out and you'll fill up number two all the way and number one both of them you'll fill them both all the way up uh you open your vent all the way up and then all you do on this one is you don't have to take your eggs out of your sting or out of your, out of your racks this one right here this whole piece just comes out be very careful that you don't hurt the eggs or you know, knock them around too bad just take that piece out set it off to the side put your top uh, these wires always get in my way put your top back on and then open your, hum uh, your vent all the way up. And there again, keep out on your humidity. Uh, you wanna keep it up to around 70%. Just let nature do its thing. So I'll get back with y'all in a couple days, show y'all these again once they actually start hatching. <coughs> Excuse me. Once they actually start hatching out in here, I will uh, show y'all again. It's gonna be about another three days and maybe I can get some video of them actually hatching out. So this is what I like about these, especially if you have small kids, is you have your glass tops or your plastic tops, but see-through tops, and uh, they can actually watch them as they hatch out. So it's really interesting, and of course us adults like to watch it too. My wife loves it. So anyway, uh, I'll get back to y'all in a couple of days, let y'all know the results on the hatchings. Thank y'all.